Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to edit when you've been shooting in direct sunlight. So here's our original image straight out of camera and I'm going to show you how to bring it here. Now typically an important thing to note is when you're shooting in direct sunlight you're going to want to underexpose your image just a bit. It's easier to bring back low lights um, in shadows than it is to bring back highlights. So this image is a little bit more overexposed than I would like, but we're going to go ahead and play with it anyway. So the first step I do is I apply my pop preset, pop preset vibrant, um, and that's going to bring you here. Now that makes all of these adjustments. Um, and as I've said, I typically like to underexpose my photos. So my preset comes with uh, adjusting exposure just a bit. Uh, it also just White ba light balance to auto, which sometimes it gets it completely wrong. So um, I'm going to drop that down a little bit. I'm going to drop the exposure as well. And then I'm going to go into this panel and adjust for highlights. I'm dropping them almost down to zero. I'm dropping them down almost 100%, I should say. And I want to bump up the shadows just a bit. Now that actually looks like a little bit much, so I'm gonna play around with that slider because uh, I really love contrast. I want my photos to pop, and if you bring shadows way up to here, it ends up kind of looking like a boring image. So I'm gonna drop those a little bit. Um, I like this. I'm gonna bump saturation even a teeny bit more since we've got some pastel tones here, nothing too wild. Uh, the tone curve I like, this kind of gives me a little bit more contrast as well. So. Now I'm going to scroll down and go to the HSL panel and show you guys how to bring back sky. Um, now, if you've adjusted for exposure, you've dropped that down, you've played with your highlights and brought those down, and you're still not seeing enough sky. And honestly, this is actually pretty good. But just to show you, um, I like to play with the blue and aqua and see if I can bring some more of that sky back. Now, I can bring it down all the way. That's obviously excessive but that just shows you how much you can adjust sky just by using the color slider. So I'm gonna drop it a bit uh, and let's see if Aqua does anything. It more so adjusts the building. So I might actually bump that a tiny bit. You can also play with the saturation of blue. I typically like to bring them down. I don't like it to be a super powerful color in my images. Um, this is what happens if you make it totally desaturated, uh, excessively saturated here. Um, I'm going to bump it up just a bit since we really like the sky in this photo and it's a big part of it. I'm also going to adjust the orange here to make that a little bit more obvious and bring back my pale skin a tiny bit. Um, and I'm liking that. Now let's compare that to the actual final image. Pretty spot on. Now obviously I've made a crop since this original one, but to show you the before and after, here we are. Uh, we've got kind of a desaturated, overexposed image here, and we've got a very vibrant, colorful, well-exposed photo. So I hope that helps. I hope that this gives you a little bit of guidance and it helps you make your photos even better. Thanks for watching.